Lulu's mom gave Lulu a pencil. It was a yellow pencil. It was a number two pencil. Had a pink eraser. The eraser was small and round and pink. Lulu's mom gave Lulu a piece of paper. It was a white piece of paper. There were blue lines on the white paper. Lulu wrote a letter to her grandma. Her letter said, Dear Grandma, hello, I love you. Lulu told her mom she was done. Her mom looked at the letter. This is a short letter, her mom said. Lulu said, Yes, mom, it is a short letter. It is short but sweet. Lulu lived in a small, cozy town where everyone knew each other. She had always been close to her grandma, who lived in a town far away. They used to visit each other often, but lately it had been hard to travel. Lulu missed her grandma very much. That's why she was excited to write a letter to her. After finishing the short letter, Lulu felt a sense of happiness. She loved her grandma and wanted to tell her that. Lulu's mom smiled at her. Maybe you can write more to Grandma next time, she suggested. Lulu nodded, thinking about what else she could share in her letters. The next day, Lulu woke up with an idea. She decided to write a longer letter to her Grandma. She picked up her yellow pencil and the piece of paper with blue lines. This time she wrote about her day at school, her friends, and her favorite teacher, Miss Parker. She even drew a little picture of her school. Dear Grandma, Lulu wrote, Today was a fun day at school. I played with my friend Mia. We played tag during recess. Miss Parker read us a story about a brave knight. I drew a picture of my school for you. Hope you like it. Love, Lulu. When Lulu showed the new letter to her mom, her mom was very happy. This is a much longer letter, her mom said. Grandma will love to read about your day. Lulu felt proud of herself. She couldn't wait to send the letter. Later that afternoon, Lulu and her mom went to the post office to mail the letter. The post office was a big, busy place with lots of people sending and receiving mail. Lulu liked the smell of the paper and the sound of the stamps being clicked onto the envelopes. She handed the letter to the kind lady behind the counter who put a stamp on it and promised it would reach her grandma soon. As days passed, Lulu thought about her grandma every day. She wondered if her grandma had received her letter. One morning, a surprise awaited her. There was a letter in the mailbox, addressed to Lulu. It was from her grandma. Lulu quickly opened the letter. Inside, she found a beautiful card with flowers on it. Her grandma had written back. Dear Lulu, the letter said, Thank you for your lovely letter. I loved reading about your day at school. Your drawing of the school is wonderful. I miss you very much and hope to see you soon. Love, Grandma. Lulu was overjoyed. She showed the letter to her mom, who smiled warmly. See how happy you made Grandma, her mom said. Lulu nodded, feeling a warm glow inside her heart. She decided to write back to her Grandma again. This time Lulu wrote about her weekend. She described how she and her mom went to the park and had a picnic. 
She told her grandma about the beautiful flowers they saw and the fun they had feeding the ducks. Lulu also shared a secret wish she had, to visit her grandma and spend time with her. Dear Grandma, Lulu wrote, I had a great weekend. Mom and I went to the park. We had a picnic and saw beautiful flowers. We also fed the ducks. I wish I could visit you soon. I miss you so much. Love, Lulu. As Lulu was about to send this letter, her mom had an idea. Why don't we include some photos from our picnic? She suggested. Lulu loved the idea. They printed a few photos and put them in the envelope with the letter. Lulu felt excited, imagining her grandma's smile when she saw the pictures. A few days later, Lulu received another letter from her grandma. This one was extra special. Inside the envelope, there was not only a letter but also a small gift. Her grandma had sent her a beautiful bookmark with a picture of a sunflower, Lulu's favorite flower. Dear Lulu, the letter said, thank you for the lovely letter and the photos. They made me very happy. I'm sending you this bookmark as a little gift. Hope you like it. I love you and miss you too. Love, Grandma. Lulu was thrilled. She showed the bookmark to her mom, who agreed that it was very beautiful. Lulu placed the bookmark in her favorite book and decided to write another letter to her grandma, thanking her for the thoughtful gift. As Lulu continued to write letters to her grandma, she noticed something wonderful. Each letter she wrote brought them closer together. She shared stories about her life, her dreams, and her hopes. Her grandma always wrote back, sharing her own stories and giving Lulu advice and encouragement. One day Lulu had an exciting idea. She decided to create a scrapbook filled with all the letters and photos she and her grandma exchanged. She thought it would be a wonderful way to keep their memories alive. Lulu's mom helped her with the scrapbook, and together, they decorated it with stickers, drawings, and little notes. As Lulu worked on the scrapbook, she thought about all the things she wanted to tell her grandma in her next letter. She decided to write about her dream of becoming an artist. Lulu loved to draw and paint, and she wanted to share her passion with her grandma. Dear Grandma, Lulu wrote, I have a dream. I want to be an artist when I grow up. I love to draw and paint. I am making a scrapbook with all our letters and photos. Hope you like it. Love, Lulu. When Lulu's grandma received this letter, she was very touched. She wrote back, encouraging Lulu to follow her dreams. Dear Lulu, the letter said, I am so proud of you. Follow your dream of becoming an artist. Your scrapbook idea is wonderful. I can't wait to see it. Love, Grandma. Lulu felt more motivated than ever. She spent hours working on her drawings and paintings. She filled the scrapbook with colorful pictures and thoughtful letters. Each page told a story of love, connection, and creativity. The week flew by in a blur of excitement and preparation. Lulu packed her favorite clothes, her art supplies, and, of course, the scrapbook. She wanted to show her grandma all the work she had done and the love she had put into every page. 
The day of the trip arrived, and Lulu and her mom set off on their journey. They traveled through scenic routes, with beautiful landscapes passing by. Lulu couldn't stop thinking about her grandma and how happy she would be to see her. Finally, they arrived at her grandma's house. The moment Lulu saw her grandma standing at the door, she ran to her and hugged her tightly. Grandma, I missed you so much, Lulu exclaimed. Her grandma hugged her back, tears of joy in her eyes. I missed you too, Lulu. They spent the weekend together making new memories and cherishing old ones. Lulu showed her grandma the scrapbook, and they spent hours looking through it, laughing and talking about each letter and photo. Her grandma was amazed at Lulu's creativity and the beautiful drawings she had made. The visit was everything Lulu had hoped for and more. When it was time to go back home, she felt a little sad but also incredibly happy. She knew that the bond between her and her grandma was stronger than ever. They promised to keep writing letters and to visit each other as often as they could. On the way back home, Lulu thought about all the letters she would write to her grandma. She felt inspired and full of love. She knew that no matter how far apart they were, their letters would always keep them close. Back home, Lulu sat at her desk with her yellow pencil and a piece of paper. She smiled as she began to write another letter to her grandma. This time, she wrote about their wonderful weekend together and how much she loved and appreciated her. Lulu knew that her letters were not just words on paper, but a bridge that connected their hearts. As Lulu finished her letter, she felt a sense of peace and happiness. She realized that writing letters to her grandma was more than just a way to stay in touch. It was a way to share her life, her dreams, and her love. It was a way to create lasting memories and to strengthen the bond with someone who meant the world to her. Lulu's mom looked at the letter and smiled. This is a beautiful letter, Lulu. Grandma will love it, she said. Lulu nodded, feeling proud and content. She knew that no matter how short or long her letters were, they would always be filled with love. And so, Lulu continued to write to her grandma, sharing her life one letter at a time. Each letter was a testament to their unbreakable bond and the power of love and connection. Lulu's yellow pencil became a symbol of her creativity and her dedication to keeping her relationship with her grandma strong. Lulu learned that even the smallest gestures, like writing a letter, could have a big impact. She discovered that love could be expressed in many ways, and that staying connected with loved ones was one of the most important things in life. As she grew older, she never forgot the joy of writing letters and the happiness it brought to her and her grandma. In the end, Lulu's simple act of writing a letter became a lifelong practice of love connection, and creativity. It was a reminder that sometimes, the smallest things can make the biggest difference. And Lulu knew that as long as she had her yellow pencil and a piece of paper, she could always reach out to her grandma and share a piece of her heart.